And with me today are three chairs on, on my deck. And these chairs are going to represent three different kinds of people. And each person represented by one of these chairs is a person that's at Journey's Crossing. Now, the ideas for this message come from a book called Bruce, from Bruce Wilkinson called Experiencing Spiritual Breakthroughs, The Three Chairs. And I think it has a lot to do to help us with navigating our fractured world that we live in. Let's talk about these three chairs. This chair here we'll call the first chair. And this represents a Christian, a follower of Jesus, who is completely under the authority and the direction of Jesus Christ. This person wakes up in the morning and sees every minute of their life as something to be used for God and his kingdom. They wake up and say, God, here I am. Use today my time, my resources, my energy. I want to serve you. I exist for you and you alone. Uh, this middle chair, the second chair, describes a person who might be called a Christ follower who is unsure of how much to surrender and follow Jesus. This person generally uh, tries to find when the Bible says something that seems right to them or when following Jesus is convenient and often forgets that they're supposed to be following Jesus 100% of the time. A lot of times the person in the second chair um, is following Jesus when it's convenient. Now, the third chair represents someone who has never made a decision for Jesus Christ at all. Obviously, they rarely think about God and don't consult God's word for any decisions that they make. Uh, they're just busy going about their lives and serving their own purposes. If there was a key word to describe each of these chairs, the first chair person would be described as someone who's made a commitment. They're completely, 100% sold out to following Jesus every moment of their day. The person in the second chair, the word that would describe them would be compromise. When following Jesus is easy or it seems to make sense, well then they'll do that. But when following their self, makes more sense or it feels better, that's what they choose to do. And the third chair, the key word, would be the word conflict. Because generally speaking, when we're living our lives only for ourselves and our own wants and wishes, uh, what we want and do is often in conflict to God's plans for our lives.